Hey everyone, it is Llama 4 Day. Our goal is to build the world's leading AI, open source it, and make it universally accessible so that everyone in the world benefits. And I've said for a while that I think that open source AI is gonna become the leading models. And with Llama 4, this is starting to happen. Uh, Meta AI is getting a big upgrade today. So if you wanna try Llama 4, you can use Meta AI in WhatsApp, Messenger, or Instagram Direct, or you can go to our website at meta.ai. Uh, today, we are dropping the first two open source Llama 4 models, and we've got two more on the way. The first model is Llama 4 Scout. It is extremely fast, natively multimodal. It has an industry leading nearly infinite 10 million token context length, and it is designed to run on a single GPU. It is 17 billion parameters by 16 experts, and it is by far the highest performing small model in its class. The second model is Llama 4 Maverick, the workhorse. It beats GPT-40 and Gemini Flash 2 on all benchmarks. It is smaller and more efficient than DeepSeq V3, but it is still comparable on text. Plus, it is natively multimodal. This one is 17 billion parameters by 128 experts, and it is designed to run on a single host for easy inference. This thing is a beast. Then we've got two more models on the way. One is Llama 4 Reasoning, and we're going to have more news to share on that in the next month. And the last one uh, we are calling Llama 4 Behemoth. Uh, this thing is massive, uh, more than 2 trillion parameters. I'm not aware of anyone training a larger model out there. It is already the highest performing base model in the world, and it is not even done training yet. We're going to share more about Llama 4 Behemoth soon. Overall, Llama 4 is a milestone for Meta AI and for open source. For the first time, the best small, mid-size, and potentially soon frontier models will be open source. Uh, there's a lot more to do, but the trajectory here is clear. We've got more model drops coming soon, so stay good out there.